Hello Virgo, welcome to your general reading for March. Hello, I'm Amber. If you're new, welcome back. If you've been here before, hello. <laughs> so we're going to jump right into your March reading. Let's see what we have for you Virgo for March. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Almost the same as Capricorn. So if you know a Capricorn, both of you are probably on the same wavelength right now. Okay. Um, yeah, you made a lot of spiritual changes in your life, Virgo. Um, and all that, I feel like I want to tell you um, the inner goodness that you feel you have been projecting out. And it is affecting your life in a great way. Okay, so... Anything that you've been holding in is really coming out and it's good. It's a good thing. It's good for you. You're getting, you may be getting secrets out, um, saying things that you've never said before, but I feel like you're being supported. So when you do those things, when you follow your truth, nothing but good is following after it. Okay. Um, I do feel like you need to have a little bit of patience, Virgo, because I feel like you're, the world has to catch up with you. <laughs> that sounds funny, but uh, I, that's why I think that you need a little bit of patience here, okay? Um, this is a good time to, like, meditate um, and stay balanced, okay? So you don't fall back into, like, old habits or something like that, okay? Okay, secrets, lies, confusion, uh, taking the easy way out, whatever that is, is stopping, okay? Um, this is like firm ground on things that were confusing or things that you were holding in. Firm ground, so that's good, okay? Mm, March looks like uh, new beginnings for you because you're taking risks, I feel like that's important to say, okay? You're taking risks, you're feeling more free, more confident, and because of that, the good things are coming to you, okay? You've gotten some balance in your life. You've gotten a sense of perspective. I feel like that's what I want to say, okay? A piece of perspective. And you're understanding how important love and your emotions are. So that perspective now includes that your emotions, love, your intuition, okay? Um, I feel like you're becoming more whole as an individual, okay? Um, some of you are getting closer in a relationship or with a friend, whatever that is. It could be any kind of emotional connection. But I feel like you're learning how to see that, you know, you're both different or you both have different ideals and that's okay. That's not a problem, but you're learning how to work that out. And by working that out um, through many conversations, I feel like you, things are growing. Things are getting better. Relationships are getting stronger, okay? There's a sense of balance now that, that wasn't there before, okay? So that's good. That could be anything. It could be love, friends, coworkers, family, whatever that is for you. You definitely have, uh, your emotions are open, okay? I feel like you see a new opportunity to care about someone, to be friends with someone, to have a stronger love relationship, whatever that is. And you're feeling more comfortable now in March, Virgo, to take that risk with this person. OK, and I feel like because they are. They're really trying. Um, I feel like now that you've in March got some sort of sense of balance within the relationship or within your life with this person, um, you feel more confident. 
I know there's no cards about confidence, but that's what it feels like. You know, it feels like now that things are moving, you're just going in that trajectory. So I do feel like you are going with the flow, but things are good. So you're easier to go with the flow. Okay. I do feel like this is a lot. Opening up to a new person or new love or love in general is pretty hard um, because you can get fearful. Your intuition is what really is going to help you feel safe. It's like knowing that this person's okay. Knowing that they have the best ideals for you. You know, you feel very confident about the pairing. So you're moving forward. I feel like you're going to express yourself, Virgo, in a way that you've never expressed yourself with this person. Yeah, I definitely see that. Um, I feel like you feel safe. There's going to be a moment where you feel safe and you just open up about something. It really feels like it, it's like you're feeling like it's time. You don't want to miss an opportunity. The air just feels good. You know, it's one of those things where you know how something feels like the right time. It feels like the right time. Okay. This is, so what looked to be at first to you, Virgo, something that wasn't going to make you happy, something that was going to make you confused or you weren't comfortable, you weren't content, you didn't know what was happening. Uh, it's kind of like it was great at the beginning and you're like, what's happening now? And this could be any area of your life because it doesn't feel very specific. You're starting to see the opportunities for growth and how it can be useful. You know, how this relationship could be useful, how this person could be useful, how the situation could be useful, because you have a different perspective, sort of uh, a more happier or optimistic, optimistic perspective. So I feel like you were before you could lose hope in something, you decide to try again. OK. Um, and you notice that there was a problem with like the 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 balance of things maybe you couldn't spend enough time together maybe you weren't giving enough maybe they weren't giving enough but you've worked on in your way Virgo finding balance within this situation okay it's like you didn't want to give up hope because you were starting to really give up hope okay um somehow the connection got stronger I don't know if you pulled back. It looks like a person thought that you weren't waiting on them anymore. It's like they knew they feel like it was time for them to step up, whatever it is. And they did. And this change really opened them up. So I feel like they're more talkative. Um they're more going in your direction, okay? Their focus is now on you. Instead of whatever issues, whatever problems, whatever, I feel like they're focused on the connection you two have or the camaraderie that you two have. That's what the focus is now. Instead of focusing on problems or issues, we're focusing on the positive areas. There may have been a third party situation which made you give up hope or thinking this person was involved in someone else. It could be either or, but I feel like now things are rekindling because you found some sort of 
the right way to do things. You know, it's not like you gave up and were like, well, you got another person. I'll still work on it. I'll still be there for you. No, it's like they resolved it. You decided that, okay, let's dive back in here. Okay. Um, but I feel like that's something that you agree to in your head and not with the person just yet. Because I don't feel like you're opening up entirely. Like they don't know that you're really open to this, but they are like putting in more effort. You are eventually going to take a risk and start communicating with them as much as they are communicating with you. Because you're seeing that they're giving, so you're not minding giving to them as well. I feel like you're going to um, express a lot of things to each other about how you feel, about what you want, about what the future holds, to see if you're both on the same page to keep continuing forward. It's interesting though, Virgo, because I see things really changing in your love life. It's like uh, there's a kick up in your love life, in your feelings, in your emotions, in your intuition. So things that were hidden or things that were confusing to you are now visual. Absolutely. And that's why you're open to take a risk. I also see, um, I, no, I see a risk. I see opening a door. I don't see the transformation quite yet because things aren't perfect. There's still things that you need to talk out. There's still things that you need to work out. But now that both of you are openly communicating, you can work together to see. Like some of what I'm getting is some will have strong suits in one area and some will have it in the other. And you both just need to learn how to work together. And that's what's happening. It's like realizing that you don't want to be unhappy, whether you or the other person and realizing the potential in this situation. So it's about bringing things out into the open, um, bearing all the cards on the table, as they say, and building a strong foundation. Okay, so we're going to do spiritual message. Oh, look at that. Love and compassion. I'm telling you, you definitely are opening up your heart and going with the flow. Best thing that you can do, Virgo, right now, open up your heart and go with the flow. Listen to your intuition. Go with the flow. All of that. Go with the flow. Okay, let's pull an empath card as well. This is very feminine energy. Yeah, honor your inner child. This is same as Capricorn. You and Capricorn are on some sort of wavelength here. Honor your inner child. Focus on your inner child's needs. Is your inner child afraid or in need of more playtime? Cherish the precious being within you. For this card for you, Virgo, it's about mm, being more lighthearted in this situation. Realizing that two people can come from two different paths. It's the nature versus nurture situation. You two could just have been raised differently, you know? Um, it's like you're finding middle ground, you're conversating, you're talking about it, you're working things out. And it's actually building a solid foundation for you two in whatever situation this is. There is potential here for you two to get along, for things to work, for a relationship to really develop strongly because you have a lot in common. You just have to find that common ground, okay? So I love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.